Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 875, Cocoa Eating Bananas. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, this is the first example from the LeetCode website. So, we are given n piles and each and every pile has the corresponding number of bananas in it. Right? And we also have a variable h in the input which denotes hours and we need to find the minimum speed required required for cocoa to finish eating all the bananas within given r h right so we are going to solve this problem using binary search so now we will see the logic. So initially I'm going to have left and right pointers where left will be 1 and right will be the maximum value in my piles input array that is 11. And left pointer represents the minimum speed required to finish eating the bananas and right pointer denotes that the maximum speed required for cocoa to finish eating all the bananas in the given input array within the given hard h right then i will find the mid value so here i'm going to get 12 right by adding my left and right pointer i will get 12 i will divide by 2 i will get 6 so 6 is the mid value so i will send 6 to the given function that is the can eat. So basically I am assuming 6 is the minimum speed required to finish eating the bananas. Right. So I'm, I will be passing the mid value 6. And initially I will be having a time variable to keep track of the time taken. I am initializing it as 0. And here I have a formula. So this term states that total number of bananas cocoa would eat if they ate the whole pile at the current speed this is the current speed and the pile is nothing but the each and every pile in my input array so we are calculating the total number of bananas cocoa would be able to eat if they eat the whole pile whole pile right that is all the bananas in each and every pile at the given speed and we are dividing this term by speed which will give us the number of hours it would take for cocoa to finish eating the whole pile that is the whole pile then update my time by adding the time variable so i will keep on updating my time until i finish my input array for the current speed 6 right so first we will pick the first that is 3 right then the current speed that is 6 and if I subtract with 1 I'm going to get 8 right I'm going to get 8 and the current speed is 6 if I divide 8 by 6 I'm going to get 1 as my whole integer I will add time to this particular one so my new time will be 1 right I will keep on performing this particular operation until we finish the input array right so then we will pick the next pile that is 6 and then I will add with the speed then I will subtract with minus 1 so I'm going to get 11 here and if I divide by current speed that is 6 I'm going to get 1 here and I will add this one to the current time I'm going to get current time as 2 right then again I will pick the next file that is 7 and I will add current speed then I will subtract with minus 1 then I'm going to get 12 here and if I divide this by current speed that is 6 I'm going to get 2 I will add 2 to the current time now my new time will be 4 right then I will pick the next file that is 11 I will add current speed that is 6 then I will subtract with 1 I'm going to get 16 and if I divide this by 6 I will get 2 
I will add 2 to the current time that is 6. Right? Now I have finished with the input array that is piles. Now I need to check whether Coco was able to finish eat whole bananas with the given time. Right? So if my time is less than or equal to my given hard, then it is true. If it is true, I will move my right pointer as my middle value. So my new right pointer will be 6. So my right pointer will be 6 now. So basically we are shrinking, we are moving towards the lowest speed as much as possible. Right? So if this case is not true, if it is false, then I will move my left pointer. So Coco was not able to finish eating the whole bananas within the given R H. So I need to move my left pointer at that time. Right? So now I will again find the middle value. So here if I add left and right pointer, I'm going to get 7. And if I divide this by 2, I will get 3. So, so my new middle value is 3 now. I will assume this as my current minimum speed. I will pass this to the function. Right? Now again I need to take each and every pile that is 3 at the start. So we have 3 here and I, I have to add 3 that is speed. And I will subtract with 1. I am going to get 5 here. Right? Then I will divide this 5 with current speed, that is 3. I am going to get 1. I will add 1 to the current time, that is 0. So my new time is 1 now. Then I will pick the next pile, that is 6. I will add current speed and I will subtract with 1. I am going to get 8 here. right? And if I divide this by 3, that is current speed, I am going to get 2. I will add 2 to the current time. So my time will be updated as 3 now. Then again I will pick the next pile that is 7. So 7 plus 3 is going to be 10 and subtract with 1 I am going to get 9. And if I divide this by 3 I am going to get 3. I will add 3 to the current time I am going to get 6. Then I will pick the next pile that is 11. I'm going to get after performing the operation i'm going to get 13 and divide by 3 is going to be 4. i will add 4 to the current time now with time becomes 10. so i'm done with the input array now i will check whether the time we got is less than or equal to my given r h no it's not right 10 is not less than equal to 8. so i will return false which means I need to move my left to point as mid plus 1. So mid plus 1 is nothing but 4, right? So my new left will be 4. So if you keep on doing that, we are going to get the minimum value in the left to pointer. So we will return the left to pointer at the end, right? So the time complexity will be m log n. So m is the number of times we iterate through the input array and log n is for binary search we perform. Right? And we are not using any extra space. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially my left pointer would be 1. And my right pointer will be max of my piles input array, right? This will be my right pointer. Then we are going to run the loop until my left pointer is less than the right pointer. Then I will find the mid value by adding left and my right pointer and dividing by 2. Then I am going to call a function can eat by passing the mid value. If it is true, I will be making my right pointer as the mid value. Else, I will move my left pointer as mid plus 1. Then in the left 
pointer my minimum required speed will be available right so now we will write the can eat function so i will be assuming the current middle value as the current speed right then i will be having time variable which is initialized as zero then i will iterate through each and every file in my files input then i'm going to keep on updating my time using the formula that is the ith pile but and i will add the current speed then i will perform the subtraction of one here then i will divide the value by current speed right then i will return true if the time is less than or equal to my given hard h otherwise it will be false right i think it's fine let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future keep supporting happy learning cheers guys